Good evening. I'll try again. Is my mic on? I think it's on. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to our family service this evening. We're glad that you've joined us. Would you stand with us as we sing a couple Christmas carols? different song in my ears right now. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> that was just a preview Nothing through Spotify. of the song we're about to sing. <laughs> no? <laughs> sorry, I don't know why I have something else going on in my ears, but we'll try that one more time. Let's start at the top. <laughs> oh, come Christmas, everyone. This is the last time this year we will light the Advent candles. For four weeks, the candles have been burning as we thought about hope, love, joy, and peace. 
These are the gifts which Jesus brought to us at Christmas time. The waiting is over and Jesus is born. Each week, another candle glowed, and our wreath has shone more brightly. Today, we light the Christ candle, the candle which represents Jesus. It is the center of our wreath, just as Jesus is the center of our lives. Happy birthday, Jesus. Please join us in prayer. God, our hearts sing with joy and praise because of Jesus. At this happy season, we rejoice that Jesus came among us. By his birth and life, he has shown us that we are your people and that we are greatly loved. Help us to remember Christmas all year long by giving to others the gifts of life, hope, peace, joy, and love expressed in the works of our hands and hearts. Amen. Would you stand with us? Breaking through the silence, glory in the highest, the hope of our creation, resting in his mother's arms. Song on the horizon, ringing through the heavens, long-awaited Savior, come to set the captives free. Come to set the captives free. Come set us free. You may be seated. 
All right. You guys can head back to your seats. All right. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Katie, and I oversee children, youth, and family ministries here at The Well. And our music today was led by our worship team, as well as our kids' worship team, which is something we just started at the church. So the kids were a little nervous, but I think they did a great job, right? <laughs> Crushed it. But I am so excited to be here with you tonight. Um, I just can't believe that tomorrow is Christmas. Tomorrow is the big day, right? And some of you are going to try to catch Santa Claus. But maybe it's the lights and people going out of their way to say Merry Christmas. But the excitement is just so big this year, which is perfect because we have been getting ready tonight to talk about the biggest gift that has ever been given. We've been calling it the big give. So I have been looking forward to this moment for a long, 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 long time to telling you what Christmas is really all about. So let's get started with that. Okay, you ready? Oh, made it. Oh, oh uh, I made it. This is Tina, children's Hi. coordinator. Hi, Tina. What's going on? I did it. I got the big give. Um, okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say what? I think I really got what you were looking for for the big gift for the family service tonight. Oh, really? Yeah, it, does, it gets better. It gets better. Boys, come on. Bring it down. Oh, my. Oh, boy. Okay. Here it comes, the big give. <laughs> oh, my. Good job. Good job. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. <laughs> wow. Oh, and confetti. Oh, my goodness. Awesome. Thank you. Thank um, you. This is it. This is your big gift. Ta-da! Oh, boy. Well, um, well, Tina, I'm flattered and all and really grateful, but this isn't the big gift. It doesn't get much bigger. <laughs> well, actually, it does. It gets a lot bigger. Just open it. Well, should we just... <laughs> I could wait till the service is over. No, open it. Or we could wait till like Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, maybe even like Memorial Day. Katie, I brought this gift all the way here for you. Who wants to see Katie open the gift? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I'll open it. But just to be clear, this isn't the big gift. Okay? I just don't know how it can get any bigger, but open it. Okay, I'll open it. Nope. Um, what? Open it. Open what that one, the... too. Open that one, too. Are you sh okay, you sure? I yes. can't just wait? Yeah, just show them. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, Tina, what is this? Oh, my God. Your family just got served? That's it. That's the big give. Oh, like a family service. Yes, yes. I get, get it. it. You get it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, wow. I knew you'd love it. I knew you'd love it. So I guess that's all we really need to do. It's time to go home. Thank you. Bye-bye. No, uh, Merry well, Christmas. <laughs> well, okay, say? Tina, this, oh. this is great and all, but we're not quite done because um, this is not the big give. Well, I thought you'd really like it and then want to enjoy it, you know, the family service by yourself. Um, you know, maybe, but uh, the big give is much, much bigger than that. I just don't know how it could get any bigger than that. Uh, well, yeah, well, it does. It's going to get bigger. Okay, I got you. That's why I've got plan B. Plan B, okay. Well, I got to see what this is, so let's perfect, do it. Perfect, perfect. All right, I'm going to need five volunteers from each side of the room. I'm just going to... All right. Katie, hey, can you get the stuff that's behind the presents over there? Yeah. All right. Can um, you do? How am I going to know what you're talking about, Tina? Oh, trust me. You'll know. Okay. I'm just going to push the, okay, this thing out of the way. <laughs> All right. You, you want to come on? Oh, thank you. Come on, okay. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I'm going to have you guys go over this way. And one, two, three, four. I need two more on each side. We could get grown-ups right. in here, too, Tina. the red Tina. right there. Yep. Come on down. 
All right. Oh, honey, I'm gonna, Lorelai, I'm gonna have you come on this side. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's see, do I have, do I have enough? Do I have more? Is it enough? All right. Welcome to the gift wrap relay, relay, relay. <laughs> all right. I got all little kids. So here's what you're gonna do. You guys are gonna stand behind the line. Can you stand behind the line over on this side? Perfect, in a straight line. And you guys too come over on this, we're gonna come over on this side. Behind the line right over there. Perfect. Oh my goodness, Tina. All right. <laughs> all right. When, when I say go, you're gonna take one piece of paper, the first one in line is gonna take one piece of paper, and you're gonna tape it up to the side of the box, and we're gonna to try to wrap this present, okay? So then when you're done with one piece of paper, you go to the end of the line. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> all right, and I think maybe they should all cheer for people, right, Yeah, Tina? yeah, cheer for your side. Which side do you want to win? All right, all right. here we go. There's the first team to cover a box is <laughs> Done? It's gonna, yes. Okay. Ready, set, let's get ready. All right, here we go. what they look like at your house. All right. Hey, good job, good job everybody. You. you can head Thank back you. to your seats. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey, Percy. <laughs> Want to head back down? Come on, Percy. <laughs> well, Tina, these are some pretty big gifts. I know, right? Oh my goodness, here we are. Well, well, Tina, this was fun and all. Um, right, everyone, this was fun and all. I'm... But this still isn't the big gift. But I knew you loved Pan Plan B. I just, I just don't know how it's gonna get any bigger. It's gonna get bigger. It's gonna get bigger than that. Wow, can't so, wait to see. All right, well, let me tell you the real reason we all came tonight, the whole story of what we came for. It's time to talk about the real big gift, the whole reason we're here. So a long time ago, God did something to, sell, to get us started with Christmas, and it was something that nobody expected. It's something, the big give was something that was talked about for a long, 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 long time. There were people in the Bible who knew about this big give way before it happened. There was a guy named Micah who talked about the place that it would happen, and there was a guy named Isaiah who even told us some of the names that this big give would be called. The Prince of Peace, the Wonderful Counselor, the Almighty God. But even though people were waiting and waiting for this big give, they almost missed it because it was something so simple and something so unexpected. 
So to tell our story tonight, we're going to have some pieces that we need to put together. So if you will, pretend with me that the altar is like a nativity, okay? Now, as you came tonight, there was somebody that I gave a feather to. Does anybody have the feather? Yeah, if you have the feather, why don't you come on up? So as we get ready to put the characters in our nativity, who do you think should be first? Come on up. Me. <laughs> who goes in the nativity first besides Liam? <laughs> hmm, what do you think a feather could mean? Should we see? Do you guys want to open it? Yeah. Well, we have this gift over here. And let's go ahead and open that and see what's in there, OK? Do you guys want to untie the bow? Yeah. You can just pull the strings. Nah, it's tricky, isn't it? And this is the first people in our story. I heard somebody say it. It's an angel. It's an angel. Wow. So the very first character in our story was an angel. Thank you guys for helping me open it. You can head back to your seat. Thank you. Give them a round of applause. Wow. So very first person in our story was an angel. And when angels showed up, it a lot of times freaked people out. It was really unexpected. Yeah, like that. Really unexpected. <laughs> so the next person in our story might have reacted that way when she saw the angel for the first time. So somebody in here has something that's blue that I gave to you. I invite you to come on up. All right. Who do you think the next character in our story is going to be? Any guesses? You all can guess. Ice cream, Jesus, okay. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Man, well, hi, you guys. It, it might be Mary, you're right. Do you see any presents up here that are blue? Yes. <gasps> Do you want to help us by opening this one? Yeah, it's big, and you might need some help. That's why we had family come up. Okay. Just rip on into that. Oh, hey, Amos. <laughs> You guys can just rip the paper. Right. And then this box will just lift right on up. Let's open the box. <laughs> Let's open the box. Let's try to open the box. Yeah, it's just slide. Open the box. You guys want to cheer us on while we open the box? Okay. she goes. All right. So the next person in our story was Mary. Now, Mary was told a message by our first character, hey Amos, um, that she would be doing something pretty amazing. Okay. And that maybe scared her quite a bit. And so the big thing is that she didn't have to do it alone. She didn't have to carry the big give by itself, by herself. So there's another gift in here. And so somebody has something that's a wood stick. Anybody have the wood stick? All right, you guys can come up. So they didn't want Mary to carry the big give all by herself. So God made sure that Mary would have a helper. All of you are like, what is this chaos I just entered into? <laughs> just a prelude of opening gifts at your houses later. All right. Do you guys see any gifts up here that look like wood, maybe? Maybe. It's not real wood. Oh, we're, <laughs> we're going to open this one next. I'm going to help Alex because he is not going to know how to do it. Woo! 
Careful, careful. All right. Should we see what's in here? Everybody? So Mary didn't have to do the big give herself. She had Joseph there as her helper. So we'll set them next to each other. What a cute little couple, right? They look like they're ready for the biggest adventure of a lifetime. But it was probably really scary what they were getting ready to do, to deliver the big give to us. Now, our story isn't done. This isn't all of the characters. So there were some other characters that were involved. So somebody here has something that looks like a dish rag or a dirty towel. Yeah, over here. You want to come up, Arlo and Alice? All right. So do you guys see a present that kind of looks like this dish rag? Maybe look this way. Anybody else see it? You can shout it out. What about way over here? Come on over, guys. Look at this one. Ugh, it's kind of dirty. It's got dirty rags everywhere. Well, when God invited these people to the story, God wanted to make sure that we knew that everybody was invited to be part of God's big gift. Like I said, this gift is for everyone. So you guys want to open it? Maybe Alice pull this side, Arlo pull this side. Perfect. We're getting coordinated now. All right. We'll untie it. Okay. Should we see? Who do you think is going to be in here? Jesus, Jesus maybe. <laughs> Who wrapped these? My goodness. I did. I, I did. Just so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we have a sheep. Arlo, do you want to put this one over here in our manger? And who would this be? A shepherd. And then, Alice, there's one more sheep in there. If you'll carry our other sheep. I can. All right. You want to set them by the shepherd? So the shepherd knew that the big give was coming. The big give was going to be showing up. And God told the shepherd by using a character that we already talked about. Thank you, guys. So our angel does double duty in our story. The angel appeared to the shepherds and said, the big give is coming. Make your way to Bethlehem, to this big give. I know, it's Jesus. <laughs> but, Jesus, Jesus. okay, it's a secret. Now, hold on. <laughs> Don't someone tell you your presents before you open them. Jesus. Jesus. Now, there were some other people involved in the story, but honestly, we dream dreams of Orient are. Um, can we keep that door shut over there, please? Um, sorry, everyone. As I was saying, there were some other people about to get involved in the big give. We dream dreams of Orient are. Um, <laughs> Can you please? Uh, thank you. I don't know why that door keeps opening. Anyways, there were these other guys involved in the story, and they came from... We three kings of Orient are. Yeah, okay. We get it. We get it. Um, can we... Uh, Tina, will you go see what's behind that door for us, maybe? Let's go see. I bet this gift had to come from a long way. it's going to be? Is this the big give, you think? Oh, here it comes. It's really big, so you guys might want to cheer them on. Is this a big give? (laughs) 
So while they get this big present in here, the next part of our story, there's somebody who has a gold ribbon. They want to come on up. Yeah. Getting the teenagers involved. <laughs> Let's see. Ellie, you want to help me open this one? Who do you think is going to be in there? Jesus. <laughs> what do we have? Yeah, okay, guys, we heard you already. Thanks. Uh, we'll just set the kings right over here, I think. And the kings had to come from far away, from a distant land. Yeah. And they came to see the big give that had come. Now, as I look at my nativity, there's something really important missing from the story. But it's maybe Jesus, but something else. The wise men needed something to help them follow and get to the baby Jesus. Yeah, so we got to put our star up here. All right. So just like that, all of the people were in place. Everyone that God had invited to be part of the story was there. And then the moment we had been waiting for was here. The big give, the biggest gift and the greatest gift of all time arrived. And if you don't mind, I'm going to open this one myself because this one is a really special and precious gift. Because when God gave the big give, God gave a big give in the simplest way that we could ever imagine. When God sent Jesus to us in the form of a baby. When God gave the biggest give, God gave the biggest give in a way that nobody expected, that God would invite us to be part of the story because of a baby, that this Jesus would come to earth and would show us how to live and how to love one another and would change history forever. This is the big give, the gift that was given for all of us. Would you stand with us once again? Shepherds came to see the baby stood by his mother's side. He laid the Savior inside a manger. Oh, what a glorious night. Oh, what a glorious night. I hear the angels sing. Hallelujah, let the earth Shepherds wonder they couldn't hide it, told everyone inside. All were amazed when they heard how God came down on that glorious night. God came down on that glorious night. I hear the angels singing, hallelujah, let the earth Jesus. 
unexpected way ever. Surprise gifts are the greatest, aren't they? They are. And when we get a surprise gift, those are usually the ones we want to tell everybody about. Like the gift of Jesus. We should tell everybody about this big gift. Absolutely. So as we get ready to go from here, we'll sing one more song about telling other people about this big give, this biggest gift that ever came. While we sing this song, we'll call on our ushers, and we're going to take tonight's offering. I would just invite you to give as you feel called to give. Um, there are other ways to give as well. You can see on, on the screen. But we thank you for being with us tonight. Like I said, I'm in charge of children, youth, and family ministry. And we've got these two boards out there in the lobby where you can grab as much information about our programs as you like. We would love to see you here anytime. But let's sing our last song about giving glory to God. Shepherds kept their watching or silent flocks by night. Behold, throughout the heavens, the show of holy light. So I say, Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills, in it.
this evening, we have these little gift bags uh, set up aside over here that we'll pull out for you. But we want to invite every family tonight to take one of these kits and make yourselves a time capsule that will remind you that Jesus is the greatest gift. This is the one that my family made to remind us, and this is my son, so this all makes sense, <laughs> to remind us that Jesus is the greatest gift. So please take this with you. Enjoy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, okay. Bye. on the mountain over the hills and everywhere I go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born say go tell it on the mountain over 